What's up, guys? Um, I would definitely have to say a really, really fresh croissant with um, spicy, hot pulled pork with cold coleslaw on top. Just sounds amazing. Um, this video is going to be about strange thoughts, as per the title suggests. Um, I'm actually going to have to tell you some strange thoughts leading into my strange thought. Now, my ultimate purpose of this video is to tell you my thought of how I think I perhaps can get away with murder. I know that's a strange thought. And no, I'm not looking to get away with murder. It's something that I thought of in a dream. It was a YouTube-related dream, so I'm going to tell you about the dream, and then I'm going to discuss my strange thought. Now, I don't know much about ballistics. My assumptions are going to be expressed through this video, and you tell me what you think. Not, I'm not trying to give anyone suggestions. It just was a strange thought that I wanted to share with someone. It has to be shared. So let me start this video off really with um, explaining my dream that led into this thought. Okay. So this is a YouTube related dream. And actually, let me stop here for a second and give you more about me and my dreams. I have extremely strange dreams. A lot of people have strange dreams, but mine are very vivid. And I have a knack for remembering them in detail. In fact, my dreams are almost like memories to me, which is a strange thought within itself. Because then I thought, I talk about my dreams all the time with people. I'm like, oh man, yesterday I dreamed this. And I'm explaining it as if it's a story. And I'm like, how do you remember that? Most people don't. Like you wake up and you kind of remember what you dreamt, but then you forget it by the end of the day. No idea. Mine stay with me like memories. And uh, perhaps I'll share this in the future, but I had two nightmares and one really good dream. I won't give you details about that one. But they were reoccurring for about a decade of my life. Most of my youth, I had these three specific dreams over and over and over again. Not like daily but once a month or once every couple months, this exact same dream would happen. It was really strange. So I did have uh, re reoccurring dreams. It wasn't always random. But of course, some, some things that happen in your day, if you happen to see a movie with a certain person, then you dream about that person, it makes sense. Mine are way out there. I don't know what connections they have. My subconscious is really messed up. But I do remember my dreams like they're memories. And talking to someone about this made me think of another strange thought where what if someone didn't know the difference between a dream and a memory. And like all of their memories are really dreams. Like like what if they had that kind of brain malfunction where like their whole life, everything, like all their memories were really dreams? Like their, their reality is kind of skewed? I don't know, it's kind of a strange thought too. But uh, that's something I thought about. There might be someone out there like that. And they say, hey, you know, what, what are you all about? And they go, well, you know, my father was a farmer and maybe those are just dreams. Maybe that's not really his reality. Okay, regardless, um, it's just an offshoot of my strange thought. So, my dream. Um, it was a YouTube-related dream. A lot of times I'll check messages and stuff before I go to bed, so maybe that's where the connection was. I was thinking about YouTube, then went to bed, and then had this weird dream. Now, the dream started off where I was in my living room enjoying a cup of coffee, and I was wearing a, like a, a cowboy outfit. Don't know why. Um, the full deal, you know. Colt 45s on my side. Um, although I had crayons in the uh, um, the bandolier that holds your ammo, they weren't. It wasn't ammo. It was crayons, Crayola crayons, all different colors. Again, don't know why. It's a detail that I do remember very vividly. Now I walk into my bedroom because it's time to go to bed. I'm like, "Come on, guys, let's go." He goes to bed. He's got his own little bed next to mine. Shut everything off in the house. Time to go to bed. I go in my bedroom. I turn the light on, and I see nothing fancy, and nuts are fancy. Laying in my bed, nothing funny going on, nothing weird like that. But they're both laying in my bed, both in army fatigues, okay, like this, the winter ones, the white and black. Laying in bed, just next to each other, and they're both wearing glasses, and they're reading the paper. And I said, what are you doing? Uh, I have to go to bed. <laughs> and they both simultaneously told me that they like coconut pie. And I said, I really don't care. I don't know what you're talking about. I have to go to bed. You guys have to leave. And they just got up and just calmly left. But this whole thing went down as if it was supposed to happen. I wasn't shocked to see them there. I'm like, ah, oh. like it was an annoyance. I'm like, come on, I got to get to bed. You got to go. And they started talking about coconut pie. So don't know what that has to do with anything at all. That's just my strange uh, subconscious. But now I crawl into bed and I'm laying there and nuts are fancy comes back and he's knocking on my sliding glass door because I have a deck off my, my bedroom. And I'm like, I hear noise, and I kind of crack an eye, and I look out there, and I see him like this, like looking. He's like, Jeff, Jeff. And I'm like, oh, 
my God. And I whip the covers off. And I'm, by the way, I'm still sleeping in my full cowboy getup with my, my crayons. And um, I go over the door. I open the door. I'm like half asleep. I'm like, what? What do you want? And he's like, listen. He's like, I got to tell you a secret. You can't tell anyone, anyone at all. And I'm like, just please, just <laughs> tell me what you have to say and leave. I have to get back to bed. So he's like, I just killed someone. It was an accident. But I killed someone, and I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, they're going to arrest me. And then as he's telling me a story, I hear um, all kinds of sirens going off. And I'm like, oh, my God. And I was kind of playing it cool in the dream. Like, I wasn't, like, worried, but I'm, like, annoyed by it. I'm like, oh, my God. Now you got to hide out my house, and the cops are going to come here, and I'm not going to be able to sleep. It was really strange. I think that goes without <laughs> – I don't think I have to mention that's strange. It is strange. Um, so he came inside. And uh, I turned all the lights on stuff, and we had a slice of coconut pie, which I happen to have nothing but in the refrigerator. Open the refrigerator, and there's just like 100 coconut pies that they were talking about earlier. So I'm eating pie and having another cup of coffee with nuts are fancy. And I'm like, look, you know, we can get around this. I'm like, what would you use? Did you just stab them? You know, just shoot them? Did you run over the car? He's like, no, I shot him. I shot him. He's like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. And now I have my strange thought, okay? Yes, it didn't get strange yet. In my dream, I thought of a way to try to get around uh, being caught by ballistics, your murder weapon, right? And I was thinking about this, um, like Glocks and a lot of these guns, you know, these polymer guns specifically, they're, they're kind of like Lego guns, you know? I mean, you just buy parts and swap them, take them in, take them out. You don't have to be a you know, gunsmith to do that. It's very, very simple to do. Uh, and, and then I, I got this thought while dreaming, <laughs> having this conversation with Nutsar Fancy, and I said, well, what'd you use? What, what kind of gun? And he told me, he said, I'm gonna, I use the Glock 19. And I said, okay. I said, well, why don't you just, uh, just replace your barrel and replace your um, uh, ejector and replace your firing pin? And I said, that'll probably just throw off the ballistics. So if they do find your gun, they run ballistics on it and you'll have different ballistics from a different barrel. And obviously these are the parts that are going to be pretty much touching the bullet casing. So, you know, if they found the casings at the scene and, you know, they wouldn't really match your gun because they would make different types of marks on it. And then he's like, that's brilliant. <laughs> and he grabbed three pies out of my refrigerator and he just ran out my front door. And that was pretty much the end of that dream. And most of the time when I dream, it's not just one thing. It's kind of like little clips from different movies or different things going on. So that immediately went to something else completely unrelated, having to do with dogs, some kind of dog show. Um, but yes, that was my strange dream. Now I woke up, I remember this dream, and I was kind of giggling myself, as I usually do when I'm taking my morning pee. And I think, ah, that's funny, why did I dream that? And then I thought, wait a minute, so that's not half bad. That idea was actually like a decent idea. And that's why I'm presenting it to you, all of YouTube. What do you think about that? I, like I said, I don't know much about ballistics, but would that actually work? Say you, ha you have your gun, Okay, let's say Glock to make it easy, and you happen to commit murder uh, by accident, defending yourself, whatever. Um, my understanding of how ballistics work is that they will take, let's say they have a, a, a suspected uh, weapon. They find a weapon on you, whatever, or you're, you're like a suspected um, person in this case, this murder case. Um, and so they take your gun, and my understanding is they'll either they'll pull the bullets out of the person... You know, or they'll use the casings found at the scene, and they'll they'll shoot another round like into a water tank or whatever. I mean, this is all crap I've seen on TV. I don't know if this is actually how this works, but I would assume it's close to this, if not exactly like this. And then what they'll do is they'll take that new round they shot and they'll look under a microscope and see what kind of marks, scratches, dings, things like that, that your specific barrel created, you know, or whatever parts of your gun, because everything's so unique. That every single gun is like a, it's like a fingerprint. Every little tiny scratch, hairline scratch, whatever, is created um, consistently through one gun. So would that actually work if you replace the parts that actually touch the casing? I mean, if I were to shoot someone um, with one gun, let's say the you know Glock 19 or something, and then I switched out the barrel and I shot someone else, they would have two different ballistics, wouldn't they? So that would no longer match. Like if that gun was found, it would not be considered the murder weapon. Is that like 
Is that a possibility? <laughs> I don't know. I know this is a really, well, that's why I named it Strange Thought. It's just that. It's a strange thought. But is there any validity to this? Is this, do you think that's actually, is that like some kind of movie thing? Or would that actually work? I know it's really strange. I'm not trying to give people ideas on how to murder each other and get away with it. But it's a strange thought. I thought I would throw that out there. So if anyone is um, involved with law enforcement, and I'm not talking about just some, you know, on-duty cop or something like that. I mean, someone who knows about ballistics or perhaps you're going to school and you do something with forensic science, I would love to know if that's actually a possibility, a an actual solution. Because it would be interesting. Well, first of all, it's interesting. I thought of it. But it's more interesting that it was in a strange dream as opposed to me. If someone came to me and said, hey, Jeff, how can I get around fixing ballistics. And then I thought of that, that would be normal. It's very abnormal to come up with a very real solution. But I, then again, I don't think I was the first person to ever think that. So then the question is, have other people thought of this? Have other people done this? I don't know, it's strange. It just seems weird that like guns, you can just replace parts all the time. It's something like a barrel that would be pretty important in a ballistic test, uh, under my assumption, can be easily swapped out. So then the question is, all right, what do you do with the old parts? Well, it's a lot easier to destroy a barrel than to, you know, discard a whole gun. And um, you could still have your gun. So you don't have to like, like in movies, you know, they use a murder weapon, then they destroy that whole weapon. You don't have to do that. Just pop a new barrel in. You know, for a hundred bucks, you know, you can, you can, uh, I don't I'm not saying for a hundred dollars you can kill a person, but um, I don't know. It was a strange thought. So let me know what you think about that. What do you think? Is, is there any validity with it? Do you think that would actually work? Or is that just a, just a strange dream and something that would happen in a movie? I don't know. I'm asking you guys. I thought I'd share that because it was quite weird. Um, not just the dream, but the thought. And uh, yeah, kind of a random video. I don't know why. Also, let me tell you, I got this shirt. This has nothing to do with anything, but it's got a little anchor on it. It's, uh, it's really comfortable. I got it on sale. J. Crew, like 10 bucks. And uh, I really like it. It's great for the summertime. But it's funny because uh, I'm not like into anything beach related at all. <laughs> but it's all, I put the shirt on and I like pretend in my mind that I'm going to go to the beach, like some kind of vacation or something. I never do. But it's a comfortable shirt. I don't know why. And someone um, complimented me on today in the store and they're like, oh, just get back from vacation. It's a cool shirt. And I just, I went with it. <laughs> I just said, yeah. I don't know why it just came out. I'm like, yeah, had a good time. I didn't get to detail. It wasn't like this extravagant lie, but I felt at the time it was easier to just say yeah than no. I don't know. Um, yeah. Uh, quite honestly, because uh, I, I know people are going to write comments like, is he drinking? Is he smoking pot again? Why are you so weird? I've always been this weird. I I'm being honest with you guys. I'm always this strange in my head. I don't always let you guys in on that strangeness. Today... You're seeing it. This is what's always going on in my head. I'm just constantly thinking about strange, weird, abstract things. And usually I keep them myself so people don't think that I have a problem. Perhaps I do. Maybe I don't. I can control myself. I don't always have to be weird out loud. But in my head, it's always weird. It's very strange. So I'll leave you with that. Let me know if that would work ballistically. Hmm. Huh, I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you soon in a new video. Take care.